welcome our chairperson, Dr. Da Wei Fu, in National Yangming University. Society. Uh, so I consider myself uh, discipline, in the disciplinary terms, uh, it's a little bit closer to Professor Oresky. I'm very uh, happy that uh, uh, we can uh, sit on the same uh, panel uh, to discuss uh, things relevant to environmental opportunities. Okay, uh, okay. I, I think uh, I begin. Uh, this panel by uh, some about like a five minutes comments or the general integration about uh, our four panelists this afternoon. And then uh, uh, I, I, I hope that uh, Professor Oreski can give us some general comments like around 10 to 15 minutes about uh, our uh, four panelists this afternoon. And then I, I like to open the floor okay, for about 20 minutes asking uh, or uh, having uh, questions or comments on this afternoon's uh, 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 speech. And then finally, I, I think that uh, our three uh, panelists can respond okay, to Professor Oreski's comments or our uh, questions from the audience, or uh, you can interact each other uh, with your uh, uh, discussions this afternoon. Okay. Uh, I, I, I begin by uh, making some, perhaps a little bit, some general comments about uh, this afternoon's uh, uh, panel, uh, this afternoon's uh, talk. Okay. I think uh, from a general perspective, I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's to me, it's an eye-opening experience. Uh, I, and I hear about uh, uh, environmental opportunity or environmental uh, discussions from the perspective of uh, uh, economics and from the Environmental Protection Agency and from the uh, Environmental Engineering and also from Chemistry. Uh, so, so it's very rich, uh, very interesting. Okay. And uh, uh, like uh, uh, in the uh, economics, uh, we hear about uh, the green accounting. Okay, uh, Because nowadays we still uh, are used to your national GTP, this kind of uh, uh, accounting to express the national, our national product or national uh, growth. But uh, uh, what about the uh, green accounting? Uh, that that will be very interesting to, uh, how to say, how to say, to adjust our uh, GTP uh, accounting to a different uh, scale. And also from our uh, environmental protection agency, uh, we hear about the uh, uh, environmental education. And it's very interesting to hear that our President Ma and Vice President Wu also have to uh, have to uh, receive their uh, own environmental education. Okay. Uh, in the break, I asked uh, uh, Professor Ye, how about university professors? Because I have never got any uh, education so-called uh, from the Environmental uh, Protection Agency. And he said, uh, because of the legislator's objection that we skip the university professors. So I don't know if we got an exam, uh, how, what's the score we can get? Okay. So that's an interesting question. And for university professors, we'll also have to see who is to be the teacher, to teach us about the environmental things. Okay. So that would be, I think, also very interesting. And also from the uh, uh, Professor Jiang from the environmental engineering, he introduced us to uh, uh, quite a number of uh, uh, ecological industrial park, okay? uh, and especially in Taiwan, he introduced six of them, especially one in Kaohsiung and one in Taoyuan. Okay, so that's very interesting. Uh, and uh, 
in Yangming University, we we have some graduate students already. Uh, also, also did some research on the uh, ecological uh, industrial park. But uh, I think uh, uh, since uh, in Taiwan we have a lot of environmental controversy or debate, for instance, like about the nuclear power plant or about the uh, the the, the uh, Formosa uh, uh, petrochemical company in uh, in Yunlin. Okay. Uh, so I was wondering how how is the ecological uh, studies or uh, how is the ecological uh, uh, industrial park center applied to them? Okay, so that that's a uh, uh, if we con concentrate on only on the local perspective, like in those six uh, ecological industrial park, I think probably they are fine. But what about others? Okay, and finally, I think uh, Professor Ling also gave us uh, from the chemical perspective about the local environmental studies. And uh, I found it especially interesting when he talked about the, the reversion process to convert uh, carbon dioxide into carbon and oxygen. Uh, so that's that's very interesting. If that can be do can be done uh, economically, then uh, it could be uh, a, a great a great thing to do. But I don't know uh, how, how how much cost it is. And also, uh, let me back to Professor Zhu's very interesting uh, green accounting. And uh, as I recall. He mentioned that uh, uh, in Taiwan's last three years, uh, he got three numbers from Taiwan's uh, ESA. Uh, that is uh, uh, kind of the depletion of nature. Uh, uh, well, from 2009, there's only point, uh, 0 0.66% uh, percent of the Taiwan's total GDP is due to uh, depletion of nature or the cost of nature, something. And uh, for the 2010, uh, the number is point, uh, point 0.62. And for uh, uh, for 2011, the number is point, uh, 0.58. I don't know. Uh, I think, uh, of course, uh, it, it's very good uh, uh, accounting. But uh, I, I think uh, from the environmental perspective, they are comfortably very small. Okay. So uh, from the national uh, gross product, uh, this kind of deduction, uh, I think, uh, uh, I was wondering whether it's, it's too small or, or it's relatively accurate. And there must be a great debate about how do we calculate, or what, what is the proper procedure for calculating our uh, depletion of nature. Okay. This is uh, some of my comment and some of my uh, quick response to uh, some of uh, uh, these uh, very interesting and uh, uh, Inspiring talks. Okay, so uh, I think this is probably uh, my general remarks from the press from a more uh, science, technology, and society perspective. Okay, uh, so let's me. Uh, can I move to Professor Risky and let's.